Hey, what's going on guys? This is Darius from ArtistShortcut.com and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to build your fan base using a hobby. To build a fan base using hobbies, you need to look at your target audience. If you don't know how to find your target audience, I'll also link the video showing you how to find your target audience in the description below. But you wanna look at your target audience and look at what hobbies they have. See, do they like weightlifting? Do they like uh, just overall fitness? Do they like painting? Is it cars? Is it fashion? Whatever it is that, they, that they're that they into. And you, you're not gonna find a consistent thing amongst them all. They'll probably be some people like fitness, some people like weightlifting, some people like whatever. And that's cool because you don't want to pick a hobby just because your potential audience likes it. You want a hobby that you actually like. I mean, it, it's great if you have a hobby and you know other people in your target audience has that hobby and you can just go off that. But if you don't have a hobby already, you want to do some research, see what other hobbies or what hobbies other people have that are in your target audience and pick something and roll with it. And then you want to document that online. So you want to post about it on social media. You want to maybe make some videos about it. Um, you might even want to blog about it. But I, I definitely recommend using social media. So posting photos, videos, talking about it, giving tips uh, from things you've tried, asking other people for advice. And then with that stuff on your social media, you can then reach out to people your, in your target audience that also like that hobby. It's a mutual interest. And that mutual interest is already shown on your profile. So it's not like you're just hitting them up and saying, hey, can you check out my music? Because, I mean, why would they care? But you want people to care about you. I've talked about this before on a channel where in the early stages of your career, people aren't necessarily focused on your music. Maybe in, in the social world, on the Internet, maybe like that's how they found you or whatever. So that is what they care about more. But in real life, in the actual face to face interactions, people care more about you than it is what you do. Um, for example, I invest in a lot of things that Elon Musk does, not because I understand all the Tesla and all the Hyperloop stuff, but just because I know that he does crazy things and I'm just there for the ride. You don't have to try so hard to promote your music. Promote yourself, build those those relationships and those friendships early on, and that hobby helps to, to build that and strengthen them because those people will support you regardless of what you do just because you both share mutual interests and hopefully you're supporting them as much as they're supporting you and you're showing love on things that they do or you, you're helping them with tips on how to achieve something in this mutual hobby. But the hobby is the is a very important part. But you definitely want to build a hobby um, and post about that hobby and then interact with other people that have that hobby. That's kind of like a networking one-on-one type of thing. But a lot of people in the music industry, especially if you're new, you're trying to actually become a new artist or... And this works for being a manager or whatever it is that you want to do. Like you just build those relationships early on and your friends become your fans. Like that's how it works in the beginning, unless you blow up on the internet and then like you just got scale, which is just, yeah, you just got a bunch of people that don't know nothing about you. They may only hear a song on the radio or whatever, but you want to build those relationships. Your friends become your fans. So guys, that is how you build a fan base. Um, or the strategy for building a fan base. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll talk to you guys again in about a week.